What's up everyone? Coach Dan back again to introduce day 27 of our at-home OTF workouts. Hope you all had a great Easter. Once again, it's a great workout. This time, big challenge for your legs, big challenge for your core and for that heart, getting that cardio in. Uh, so get this workout done. It'll be a great one. And don't forget, we have the option to do these live on Zoom. So join us. We'd love to see you there. Also, once you've done the workout, post on social media. And remember our hashtag, I can, I will. Also, be on the lookout for our burpee breakdown challenge. It's going to be a great challenge. I know you guys love challenges. So get on there. Have a great one, guys. Take take it easy. See you soon. Let's get started with a dynamic warm up. We're going to go through five exercises. We'll demonstrate those for you, and then you can work through your two rounds. We're going to start down on the ground, maybe lay out a towel or a blanket like we have here for a little bit of extra padding underneath your hands and knees. Shoulders are going to stack directly over top of your wrists. Hips are stacked directly over your knees. And go ahead and relax your feet so the tops of your shoes are facing towards the ground. From here, we're going to start with a T-spine rotation. So keeping one hand planted firmly, core engaged just slightly. We're going to bring fingertips to the ear and then raise your elbow towards the ceiling, rotating through that thoracic spine and then reaching that elbow back towards the floor. Go through this motion five times, again, focusing on rotating just through that upper half of your torso rather than rotating all the way through those hips. 10 total, five on each side. Staying in that same position, we're gonna go right into what's called a cat camel. So you are mimicking what those uh, animals, I guess, look like, right? So we'll go ahead and start by arching through that back, making that hump by tucking your chin and then tucking those hips underneath. And then let's go back the opposite direction, crown of your head and tailbone to the ceiling, really, really mobilizing that spine, really warming up that torso for some of the work that we're gonna be doing later. Five total here, and then we're gonna again stay in the same position, moving right into what we call the fire hydrant. This is really to help open up those hips. So we are going to draw a circle with our knee. External rotation would be to lift the knee to the outside first and then shoot that leg out behind you, then bringing your knee back underneath your hips. Five that direction, and then you do wanna make it an internal rotation as well, just mo simply moving the opposite direction. 10 on one side, 10 on the other side. Now our next one is gonna be a dynamic runner's lunge. So we are gonna add an overhead side reach. In order to help with posture, maybe grab something that you have at home. We happen to have a ginormous spoon. So we're gonna have John hold that over top of his head. That way his shoulders are gonna stay in the right position, ears stacked over that shoulder, over that hip. And then his front foot is gonna come a little bit further than that 90 degree angle that you're used to seeing. This way he'll be able to make it dynamic by shifting forward, opening up through that hip flexor while he's leaning over to the side. And again, by holding on to whatever object it is, maybe it's a towel for you, you'll be able to make sure that you stay in alignment. Five one direction and then five on the opposite side. One more exercise. We're calling this the plank to an alternating ankle reach. Get into your high plank position. Again, shoulders stacked directly over wrists. Feet are shoulder width apart. Tuck that core or those hips under to engage that core and then lift through your hips, reaching your opposite hand towards that opposite ankle. You're simply going to go as far as you can for your range of motion, moving back and forth for 10 total, five on each side. Two full rounds, five exercises. Let's get that body primed for the work that you're about to do.
this block is all about the glutes. We're gonna use the mini bands and you're gonna have six minutes to go through these three exercises for as many rounds as you can do. The first exercise is gonna be an external hip rotation to a lateral lunge. When you're doing this exercise, think about when you land, sitting back into your heel and not letting your chest drop. The option, limit your range of motion. You're gonna do six on one side, six on the other. Then you'll come down and place the mini band in the high band position, which is just above the knee. You're gonna perform a high band hip bridge. So you'll lay all the way back. The weight is gonna be in the heels. Keep tension into the band. Lift the hips up, squeeze at the top, slowly lower the weight back down. You're gonna perform 12 reps. Your option is to limit your range of motion. The third movement is gonna be an iso hip bridge to a walkout. Now when you walk out, you only take one step out with each foot and then one step back in. Try to keep tension in the glutes and not arch your back. Option, limit your range of motion, don't walk out as far. So you're gonna do 12 reps of that movement and then you'll repeat that circuit for six minutes, getting as many rounds as possible. Let's get to work.
start with what's called a swing lunge. So to add a little bit of a challenge to this, We've got our paint cans. Make sure that if you are gonna grab two objects, they weigh about the same to keep you balanced on either side. Starting in that standing set position, shoulders stacked over hips, over knees, over ankles. Feet stay on those railroad tracks, so about hip width apart. We're gonna start by taking a big step forward. Now make sure that knee stays over your uh, ankle, right? And on both legs, we're making that 90 degree angle. What you'll notice is that John is swinging his leg forward into that forward lunge and then simply swinging back into that reverse lunge. That counts as one rep. Your option, you can always remove the paint cans or whatever objects you have in your hand or simply pause in the center before you go forward and then backward. Again, five on one side, five on the other. Your second exercise is everybody's favorite. We had to add it in here. It is that full burpee. All right, starting at the top of our hot pink towel we have on the ground here. It's my wife's. Okay, my wife's. hey, it adds wife's. a little we're padding. Right. It's all right, all right? So what we're gonna start, standing set position again, hands go to the ground and you shoot those legs out behind you. High plank position. Now it is a full burpee, so that does include that push up, chest to the floor, pressing back up to high plank, jumping your feet in and jump up. Your option, is to remove the jump. We can also bring it down to our knees for that push-up if you need to, or simply remove the push-up and step back in. Exercise number three, plank Spider-Man. We've already been in that high plank position. Let's get right back into it, right? Shoulders stacked directly over those wrists. Now for this one, you really wanna work the side of your body. So keeping that core nice and tight, we're focusing here, we're driving that knee to the outside of the same elbow, all right? Reset every single time. Your option, you can drop one knee down to the ground, keeping that straight line, but working that one side and then the other. Our final exercise, John, you can just stay right down there on the ground. You're flipping over into a body weight crunch. You know what? Instead of body weight, why don't you grab that coffee right there? We'll add just a little bit more of a challenge. Why not, right? Go ahead and lay all the way back on your back. You're gonna, yep, have your feet shoulder width apart and hold that uh, coffee just like it becomes part of your body. From here, as you exhale, you're gonna raise your shoulders off the ground into that crunch. Really keep that core tight, keeping your shoulders right, or I'm sorry, your shoulders. How about your knees right over top of those ankles and work through that range of motion. Obviously, we can take that coffee away if that's a little bit too much. I'm gonna fly, I'm gonna fly so far away. We go back and forth, seems not back anymore. Am I imagining? Is this happening? This love was meant to be.
For this eight minute core block, we're gonna challenge one of the most important anchors of our body, and we're gonna add a little spice by adding a mini band. So we're gonna have five exercises. Didi, you're gonna start with a mini band around your toes. So that means sit down, make sure it's nice and safe. We're gonna place the band around the toes and the balls of the foot. First exercise is a bicycle crunch, laying flat, always making sure the belly button is pulled into the ground. Elbows are nice and wide. We're gonna rotate, bring one elbow towards the opposite knee. Again, keeping the back nice and flat with tension on the band. 12 reps total here. Then we're gonna relax our shoulders. Arms go up for a dead bug. Knees are at 90 degrees. We're gonna straighten out one arm and the opposite leg, making it nice and wide, slow and controlled. Bring it back and switch sides. Again, back is always flat. Think tortoise, not the hare. 12 total. Then we're going to come into our reverse crunch. So our palms are flat for stability. Same tension on the band. We're lowering the heels down, slow and controlled, and crunching back up. Belly button's flat, and that band is nice and tight. 12 total reps. After those three exercises, we're gonna move the band from the toes up to the wrist position for isometric holds. So again, right where you would wear that watch, we're gonna lay nice and flat. We're gonna do a static crunch with scissors. So tension through the band, shoulders pop up off the mat, chin stays lifted. We're gonna drop one leg down towards the floor and all together moving, switching legs. Tricky part here again, the back stays flat. 12 total with the isometric hold. To finish, we're gonna bring both legs up. We're gonna crunch through the core to drive the band up towards the toes. It's a little movement, but it's important because it all stays contracted. 12 total here, and Didi, how did that feel? I'm on fire. Let's get you guys on fire too. Eight minute core block, get to work. Smoking, everybody move. It's on baby, go we go crazy, everybody hit the flow. We on an adventure, maybe we'll get so hazy till the morning shows the light. Now I can get enough, you know I hold it down. The music's steady playing, listen to the sound. And I'ma drop a couple stacks, do it like that when I come around. So just raise your hands to the sky. You know we're feeling so alive. And we got that money, got that money. Baby, shake it, I wanna take it, and I'm all over you Drinking, smoking, everybody move It's on, baby, go eat, go crazy, everybody hit the flow We on an adventure, maybe we'll get so hazy Till the morning shows the light Now I can get enough, you know I hold it down The music's steady, play and listen to the sound And I'ma drop a couple stacks, do it like that when I come just raise your hands to the sky You know we're feeling so alive And we got that money, got that money, got that So just take your place, feel the vibe You know we're feeling so alive And we got that money, got that money, got that Put your hands to the sky Yeah, we got that money, got that money Ready, so let us party for the night We've been hanging on for quite some time It's gonna be a very long night And I got everything so now I feel right If you're ready then let us party for the night If you're ready to have an awesome time I'm ready so let's party for the night If you're ready to have an awesome time I'm ready, so let us party for the night.
bottles and bottles and bottles I'm popping some bottles and mo Doing the most How can I stop when I'm going As long as it's green I'ma go Let us get low Partying like I'm the host All white like I'm a ghost Just so you know I am the life of the party I'm so bright I can just glow Feel so good when you alive Taste in the ears I breathe in the night Let's take a flight We can go high Vegas to Cali or even Dubai Don't ask why Just say yeah Anywhere that you can think of we there Facing our fears as we go on this ride Loving this life I'm ready for the night I'm ready tonight We've been hanging on for quite some time It's gonna be a very long night And I got everything so now I feel right If you're ready then let us party for the night If you're ready to have an awesome time I'm ready so let's party for the night If you're ready to have an awesome time View. I got a clear view, but if I did too, take a chance, I wanna dance, so I'ma ask if you would care too. Okay. Here's the truth, I'm feeling nice and you looking right, so let's share the room. A cup of ice and a double shot of whatever's got me in the mood. It just feels good, living your life like you know that you should. Ride that wave, sip champagne, out for the night cause we just got paid. Club on slate, nothing to say, just good vibes, we live in a blade. Doing whatever we want on this ride, loving this life, I'm ready for the night, I'm ready tonight. We've been hanging on for quite some time It's gonna be a very long night And I got everything so now I feel right If you're ready then let us party for the night If you're ready to have an awesome time I'm ready so let's party for the night If you're ready to have an awesome time I'm ready so let us party for the night
Black is going to be all about you against you, just like we asked for inside the studio during our interval training. Interval training is one of the best ways to train overall endurance. The way that this block is going to work, it's a little bit of a unique pattern. Tabata style, add on. So we're going to start with one exercise. You'll do 20 seconds of work, followed by 20 seconds of rest for round one. Round two, you guessed it, we add on another exercise. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, two times with another 20 seconds off. We'll continue to add that pattern as we go through until we're all six exercises in a row followed by those 10 seconds of rest to end the block. It's a total of 11 minutes, and we are going to make you sweat, burn a few calories. Are you ready? I think I'm ready. Coach. All right, let's get started with our pop squat. So we're going to start in standing set position, shoulders over hips, over knees, over ankles, feet shoulder width apart. As you face forward, we're going to drop down into those heels and then pop up, land on your toes, and then land in a squat nice and softly just to the front. So continue to alternating sides. If jumping is not for you today, you simply step out to the side, step back to the center, and drop into that squat. So that's round one. You'll get 20 seconds of rest. Round two, start with that pop squat again. This time we add on our atomic running man. So we're getting into our high plank position, shoulders stacked over top of wrist, straight line from your ear down to that ankle from here. Dee Dee's gonna cross underneath her body. So opposite knee to opposite elbow with power. Nice and quick movements here. Again, you can always slow the movement down, 20 seconds of work, earn that recovery. Round number three, we have to add on another exercise. So the next one, we're going to pop back up and go right into those jumping jacks. Hands overhead, feet are jumping out and in. Again, your option there, simply step it out and step back together. Round number four, we're going to hit the mat again. Back to that same high plank position, we've got push-ups, as many good reps as you can do in those 20 seconds. Shoulders stacked over wrist, wrist right outside that chest, straight line from ear to ankle. Your option here, you drop it down to your knees and work that range of motion from there. Round number five, we add on another one. We're standing back up again. We've got those high knees. Back to that same standing set position. We're going to pump those arms and pump those knees, driving them up as close to hip height as we can. Option here, you take it into that nice, strong, powerful march. One more round means we add one more exercise. We're back down to the mat with our bicycle crunches. Your focus here, since we are only doing this one time, slow controlled movements, shoulder to knee, back and forth with little to no rest in between for those 20 seconds and earn the recovery knowing that you are done with that block. Again, 11 total minutes, six total rounds. Let's earn that burn right now.
All right, it is time to cool it down after all that hard work. We've got a six minute hip and back flexibility cool down block for you. We're gonna start seated position for a seated straddle stretch. You're gonna open your legs to a comfortable angle and keep your torso nice and tall up out of the hips. Hinging forward, keeping your chest nice and tall, reaching as far as you can before you lose your posture. Set your hands down. We're gonna stay here for 20 seconds. Then we're gonna switch to the opposite side. Same thing, chest tall, reach down towards your toes as far as you can go and hold for 20 seconds. Finally, we're gonna spend 20 seconds in the center, walking your hands out, keeping your chest nice and tall. From here, we're gonna move to a seated body twist. So you're gonna cross one leg over the opposite leg, Back of the hand goes to the back of the knee and you're slowly gonna rotate open, keeping your chest tall and your body wiggled up. From here, 20 seconds, and then we'll switch sides. Next, we're gonna take it to a figure four. So lying flat on your back, you're gonna cross one knee so that the ankle is over the opposite knee, thread your hands through to the back of the thigh and pull in nice and slow until you feel a stretch through the backs of the legs. 20 seconds on one side and then we'll switch 20 seconds to the other side. Now we're gonna move into a supine hip opener. So we're flat on our back, pulling one knee in, getting a nice stretch through the backs of the legs, 20 second hold here. We're gonna then open up the opposite arm into a T for support and let our knee fall to the side, making sure our shoulders stay flat to the mat. 20 second hold and then we're gonna switch back to center, switch arms to the T and let the knee fall to the opposite side of the floor, watching your shoulders. 20 seconds here. Our final stretch is gonna be the happy baby. So you're gonna lay flat on your back with your back nice and flat and your belly button pulled in. Reach towards the tops of the toes and open them up just slightly. If you'd like, you can add a little motion, rocking side to side and massaging the lower back. All right, you've earned that stretch. Let's get to it. I'm 
Yeah. 